Hey everybody, Breath from Stars Gaming here, back with another episode of our Empire Total War Let's Play. Before I get into um, into the game here, I wanted to mention that this might be the last Empire Total War video for a while, and the reason is the uh, the viewership on this series has started to dwindle quite a bit, which is a shame because I'm you know really enjoying the game. And uh, we're doing really well in our campaign. I might need to turn the difficulty up a little bit just because we're literally stomping through our enemies here. Granted, we've been fighting, you know, on the frontier where most of our enemies are fairly weak. But, um, yeah, so the viewership started to dwindle a little bit. And uh, so I thought that I might go ahead and take a break from this. We're not going to abandon it completely because I do want to conquer the rest of North America. And, uh,. You know, eventually, not not down here, but maybe start some wars in Europe or in uh, India, just for the fun of it. But um, for now, I think what we're gonna do, and obviously this is completely dependent on your guys' reaction to this, because I I value your opinions sometimes above my own. So um, I would like to take a break from Empire Total War, but because I want to keep Total War on my channel, I really, really enjoy the Total War series, and so I'd like to keep a Total War game on my channel. Um, I would like to maybe start a Rome Total War 2 playthrough, or possibly Attila, whichever one you guys prefer, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm leaning a little bit more towards Rome because uh, I have Rome pretty well modded, and I haven't really touched Attila since I played it when it released, and I didn't play it very much when it released. Um, but yeah, I have Rome Total War 2, very modded, and in a place where I really, really enjoy the game. And so, um, oh, I've also got a couple of my own custom tweaks to the game as well. Some custom unit skins and uh, unit icons and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'd like to maybe switch over to Rome 2 for a while, if you guys would prefer that. And then maybe come back to this when... Uh, when we're kind of bored of Rome or whatever else we decide and then continue to conquer the rest of North America obviously and then we'll get into some trouble in Europe perhaps so for now I know I just kind of turned this video into a lame duck because you guys are like oh well if you're not gonna continue this series then why keep playing but for now what I'd like to do is build up some big armies do a lot of just you know building up for Whenever we come back to this, uh, I'd like to be able to just absolutely destroy the Spanish here because we've decided there's no way to uh, there's no way to end this peacefully. They have everything in the Americas, with the exception of um, some of these islands that the British still hold. So we're gonna have to fight them for it, and we're gonna fight them all the way to you know Texas and New Mexico here, and then uh, we do still have some Native Americans way out here. And I don't know what we're going to do about them just yet. But, yeah. So let's start ramping these armies up big time. And uh, I'm going to start with these guys right here. I'd like to get them some long riflemen if we can. It's going to take two turns, unfortunately. But I think it's going to be worth the wait. And how many cavalry do they have? They've got the general plus two more. Huh. Maybe some light dragoons? They take longer than regular Dragoons? That's interesting. Oh, they're more accurate, that's why. But they are cheaper. I'll take them. So we'll do that. And then let's see about... Let's... Oh, man, I'm forgetting where all my armies are already. Is there an army there? Just the garrison. Here's another one. At the ready. So they've got some Rangers. But... They could probably use some Long Riflemen as well. They're going to recruit a little bit faster down here. And, ooh, those Dragoons are going to take forever. We're not going to bother with the Dragoons then. At least not for these guys right away. But, yeah, the Long Riflemen I think will be very helpful. I might go with some Melee Cap for them instead. Where's our other armies? There's one over here. Do we get these guys? Sir. Oh, they're supposed to join up with them. Troops forward. So let's have them hop in. Ready That'll go. give them a pretty good complement of artillery. They've got the 12-pound the howitzers that are... Uh, they pack quite a punch, but they don't quite have the range. 
These are, uh, I think they're three pound. Oh man, I missed. There we go. I think they're three pounders. Yeah, three pound horse artillery. So not quite the same punch, but they're gonna be more mobile because they are horse artillery and they have better range. So these would be good counter artillery batteries um, to deal with the enemy's artillery while these hammer the infantry. And what we got here? Oh, there's another army. Let's get them marching. Yeah, he already knows what he's doing. But, let's send him on his way. I thought we had one more. Oh, right up here. Let's get him on the ship and home. They could use a little bit better cav as well. And maybe some uh, long riflemen too. The long riflemen are slightly better than the rangers. At least at, uh, obviously, longer ranges. So we'll sail on back to uh, the eastern seaboard here. They're actually, oh no 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 go back! I forgot to put the guys in the yes, ships. Captain. Whoops. Any okay, that was almost disastrous. At least I caught it in time before we wasted that whole turn. And you know the next one moving back. Okay, so that seems like everybody. We'll accept. And it worked the first time that time. Sail on down. We're not going to get quite as far, but that's okay. And, ooh, my frame rate's dropping a little bit. I wonder why. Let's see. Sir. Well, I won't be having any issues with that very shortly. I'm building a new computer. If you, if you follow me on uh, Facebook and Twitter, I've been posting pictures of the parts as they come in. I'll probably do something to show the build off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record videos for it or how I'm going to do that. Where did I just see? I swear I just saw like two... Maybe it was here? I swear I just saw like two Light Dragoons garrisoning something. Oh well. Anywho, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record video for it just because I don't have a very good camera. Uh, my webcam is obviously absolute garbage, and uh, I, I mean I'd like to. Maybe I'll just take some pictures of the process and post them on there. But yeah, if you're interested in that, um, definitely you know follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, the links are in the description, as always, for every video. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this turn. Let's go ahead and advance. Oh wait, we got money left. Let's, uh, let's do some in infrastructure. Do there? Did we already get Niagara? We did. How about Cayuga? Let's get them. Montreal is good. Quebec is good. Let's get a uh, Fort Nashwak here. Nashwak. I I don't know. It's got two A's. Let's see. I think everybody else is pretty good. I don't think we got Georgia yet though. Yeah, we'll get Georgia, and then uh, probably hold off on the uh, frontier territories for a bit, but we'll get Newfoundland, because why not? And that's going to do it for my money and for the turn, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, so we got another rake. I'm sure we can put him to use. We had a couple of them die, uh, I think last episode. So, I mean, we are in short supply, at least for the time being. Uh, our trade routes are being raided. I don't know why. We're not at war. Are we at war with somebody? I think we are, yeah. We're at war with um, the Netherlands or whatever they're called in this game. Some of our long riflemen are done. That's good. Cobbled roads are done in York Factory. That's also good. And somebody gained a trait keep on keeping on with these guys I think we'll land in the actually I think Boston's the big one now isn't it no that's the trade port this is the big naval port yeah that one's fully upgraded so we'll we'll head in here I've got ships there that's interesting why don't you guys go join up with them cool uh, let's see 
We'll get back into port. I we might need to upgrade or not upgrade. Sorry, a repair. I thought we already did though. Hmm. While we're sitting here, is it worth recruiting any of these guys? No, they're gonna take a couple turns, so we may as well wait until they get into port. Um. Let's see. The the voiceover lady wanted me to upgrade something around here. Oh, that. What's the alternative? A steam dry dock. Oh, I want one of those. What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Okay, um, it's not telling me. I imagine it's... Let's see... No... It's gotta be, like, industrial, maybe. Machine to tools... Steam engine, yeah, it's gotta be that one. Steam powered... Yeah, we're definitely gonna leave that open for one of those, because I want ironclads and steamships. I know if we can get ironclads in this game. I think that's a little bit later, but we'll see. We'll see. I want them. Okay, one more turn for all those. Uh, how are these guys faring? They're kind of lost in the woods there. Just keep moving here. Uh, let's see. What are you up to? Let's send you down here. We're gonna scout out the uh, the Spanish. You're kind of hanging out right here. We've got some uh, long riflemen recruiting. They actually got delayed, which is interesting. I think in the meantime, should get them maybe some better cav to complement the cav that they already have. That rhymed, and I did not mean to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna do some regiment of horse. We'll just do two of those guys. They're a little bit better versions of the uh, provincial cavalry that we already have. And they're blue, so they'll actually look like part of our army. Although I do kind of like the, the rugged, like, tan and brown that we've got going on with the Minutemen and the provincial cav. Um, what else do we got going on? We're waiting on this guy to drop them off. We could upgrade these. May as well. We have the money. We have the technology. Is there anything else? We're like so wealthy right now, there's just not a whole lot for us to throw our money at. I can just go around building like walls around everything. Do you guys you guys have a garrison, right? Yeah. Commercial basin, sure. Get some more trade income there. We should actually see we probably have like several um trade slots open right now, so I'm gonna, I don't know why I panned back over here, but, uh, yeah, diplomatic relations, that's what I wanted. Yeah, we do, so, why are we friendly with the Barbary states? It doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm gonna go for Greece. I wouldn't mind trading with them. And, let's see, request a trade agreement, if you please. Uh, they're going to reject it. I'll throw some money at them, but I don't want to waste a ton of it just for a trade agreement. Uh, a thousand? No, that's too much. Let's go like 500. Oh, I can't highlight stuff. That sucks. There. Uh, rejected. Okay, well, they obviously don't like making money, so... How about Naples? Let's try Naples. Rejected utterly. Wow, okay. I'm sure somebody wants to trade with me. I mean, it is like, you know, free money trading with people. I never understood that in Total War games. People are always so reluctant to trade with you, but both both parties make money off of it. So why why are you turning down money, you know? I understand if maybe their, their ports are full or something like this, but why would you decline the ability to make more money? He's going to reject me utterly. That's even worse than rejecting me normally. Uh, I'll throw a thousand at you, see what happens. Yeah, not going to happen. Maybe I'll throw a thousand at the Greeks. Hmm. Uh, nope. Well, we tried. I really don't want to trade with the Barbary states. They just have way too many enemies. Huh. <sighs> Plus, I don't think they're particularly... Uh, they are somewhat wealthy, but they're very, very weak. They're just in a location where nobody's going to bother to go after them. We're trading with 
pretty much every major nation we can. Um, why aren't we trading with the French? That doesn't even make sense. We're trading with the British. Let's see. The ports in your home region are at full capacity. I don't think that's true because we can trade with all these guys unless they're just like overland routes. Oh, okay, they are. That is exactly what they were. Right. Well, we'll have to figure something out with that then. Um, what do we got going on here? Can I upgrade any of this? I don't have the tech. Uh, we've already got walls. What are these? Improved walls? And that's like the, the maximum. We can build walls over here. I mean, at this point, I'm just trying to find the use for all the money I have. Let's, let's build walls around Boston. They're pretty easily uh, attacked from the sea right there. I mean, if somebody came from... Europe to attack us, they'd probably hit Newfoundland first, and I imagine like Boston would be next. So let's build a wall there. And I think that's gonna do it. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything prompting me to upgrade it, so we'll uh, continue to train some more troops next turn, um, continue to work on infrastructure in some of our um, less civilized provinces, and yeah, so I will see you guys in the next turn. Alright, so somebody gained a trait, Benjamin Thompson, he's a military writer, I don't know who that is, he might be one of our, I don't think he's one of our generals, uh, I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, let's see, okay, some of our dragoons are done, some of our long riflemen, some of our regiments of horse, or all of our regiments of horse. Wow, all of our farms are done in one turn. Um, I imagine we're going to see quite a bit of income next turn, if we have time for another turn. And, okay, both of our technologies finish at the same time. We'll have to uh, swap those. Corland has been destroyed. And uh, some guys gain some traits and some ancillaries. Right, so let's look at the technology first. Uh, fire in advance I would like to have. Carcass shot isn't super important right now. Machine tools might be better. Punch card looms aren't a bad idea either. Uh, let's see. That's going to open up Wealth of Nations. Which we already have. Oh, requires that. Duh. Duh. Um, well, that's going to get me the steam engine, but not this episode. Let's take, uh, hmm, okay, what's this going to do? Minus 10 recruitment cost for all land units, plus 4 bonus to town wealth from all buildings, enhanced national prestige, enables building of ceramic factories and lumber mills. Okay. And what's this going to do for me? Plus 12 town wealth from textile industry buildings. What was this going to do? From all buildings. Okay, well, I think this is the better choice. And we'll stick with... Oh, whoops, wrong one. With these guys, we're going to do fire in advance. Oh, and it's actually quicker with them. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. What are we going to do with all this money? We've got some upgrades available here, it looks like. Ooh, army board. What's that going to get me? Enables research of shortened carbines, fire or platoon firing. That's something I really want. And uh, some other junk. Yeah, yeah, I want that. And what else? Oh, gunnery school. Explosive rockets, why not? Can we build those in Boston as well? It looks like we can. I don't know that I need both of them right away, but I guess I have so much money it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Hey, Have you join up? March! What's this? Oh, I'll upgrade that. Oh, all of our farms can be upgraded now. Right. It's kind of expensive, though. I don't know that we'll be able to get all of them. We'll get the ones in, uh... You know, the uh, more prominent regions first. But yeah, we'll not, we're not going to be able to get all of them this turn. We'll be able to get them all next turn, though. Okay. So how are you doing? Sir. You should have some troops headed your way, I thought. Nope, apparently not. Have I been forgetting to move him? No. I think I have. 
anything else. Let's see, we've got a small army here, mostly native warrior auxiliaries. Uh, they're melee infantry, so not particularly useful there. I feel like the uh, the coats probably aren't necessary if they're just going to be wielding axes. And then we've got this army waiting to cross the border. Interesting. I wonder if they're planning an attack on us. These guys are very, very ranked up. They've been, you know, fighting a lot of wars in this area. Hmm. Let's see what else they've got to offer here. But yeah, they do have a lot of troops garrisoned here. A lot more than the British did. And... Yeah, he doesn't have anybody there yet. You guys can keep on moving. This army is ready to dock. We're gonna land right here. Ships orders. And let's disembark these guys. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I've gotta select them all again. And click that. I think. Sure. There we go. Okay, so you guys are now here. Let's have you step Bye. off. More. March. And where are these guys headed? Oh, wow, way up there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I thought we had some you know, troops coming his way. Not going to make it that turn, but we'll just slide these guys over and have them join up. And that's going to pretty much fill that army up. I don't know that we'll be able to really add any more. I might throw them like one more cab unit or something. I don't know. Maybe another artillery gun if we get something especially impressive. Yes, Your orders. Hmm. What do you guys need? Got artillery. They've got six pound horse artillery, which is more accurate than the three pounder. That's interesting. The three pounder was 45. So I think the uh, six pounder is probably better. Um, counter battery. Let's see, you got plenty of Minutemen, maybe some long riflemen. Seems like everybody needs long riflemen though. And I guess more cav wouldn't hurt. We'll probably give them some regiment of horse just like we did with the other army. Uh, it's gonna take a while though so we'll wait on that. Make ready. You guys have the regiment of horse already, they just need the long riflemen which are on the way. And then we'll have to figure out what to do with that final slot. Again, if we get like some awesome artillery gun I might throw that at them. But I don't think... Uh, actually we could do like rockets or something when we develop those. And you guys already moved I thought. Yeah, so let's go ahead and end this turn. I think we've got time to start one more. Okay, so metal roads. I thought we already had some of those built. I don't know why it's such a big deal that we've got them now. And uh, Adrian Carpenter is a woodland preacher, right? Let's get these farms all upgraded because that's the most important thing. And they're pretty much maxed out. I mean, we hit like the technology cap in this game pretty quickly. I mean, not the cap, but I mean, obviously we've maxed out the technology of all of our farms and things like that. Yeah, it can't go any higher than that, so all of our, like, industrial and, you know, resource buildings are all going to be capped fairly early here. Although it is, like, what, 1811, so... Oops, went a little bit too far there. Yeah, that one's already upgraded. Hmm, there's got to be more. I know there's more. I don't see anything there. What about here? No, a bunch of... Um, what do you call them? Fur, fur markets. Nothing doing there. They have a garrison, right? Yeah, they do. Okay. Welp. Let's upgrade that. I think we got everything else. We can hit this here. And that leaves me 4,900 if I have any farms left that I missed. Oh, there's one. I knew there was more. I think that's the last one, though. Oh, we ran out of money. There was one more. Uh, damn, where was that thing? 
Where was it? Was it this? No. I don't know, whatever. It'll be fine. Anywho, let's see. Oh, right, let's move the rake again. I'm just panning all over the place this episode. Uh, I'd like to see what they're doing in... That's the capital right there. No, don't do that. Just walk over there. No one will know. Okay, so we've got a decent little garrison here. 24 pound howitzer. That's that's impressive. Where do I get one of those? I want a 24 pound howitzer. Mine are only 12. That's not fair. I wonder if that's older tech. I wonder if I can't get that. But yeah, mine are only 12 pound. Maybe it's newer tech and I just don't have it yet. I'll just keep heading uh, no, south with him. No. Doesn't look like there's a garrison there. Hmm. Well, I think we're out of stuff to do for this turn already, and I think we're out of time for the episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. I'm going to pan out. We'll take one last look at this, because we might not be seeing it for quite a while. So... Again, let me know what you guys think about my plan. If you'd like to continue watching this, that's totally fine. I'll keep playing this. Um, but if you'd rather see some Rome 2 or some Attila, let me know. Again, I'm leaning toward Rome 2, and uh, if nobody objects, then I'll probably go with that. But I'd like to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, but yeah, for now, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for... Uh, the next episode of our Empire Total War Let's Play, whenever that happens.